This video is being sponsored by EA. Special thanks for inviting me to this capture event. Yo, what's going on everyone? My name is Ovi and welcome to a new FIFA 23 tutorial here on my channel. Today we are going to talk about the new corner kick system and how exactly to score goals from it. Before kicking things off, don't forget to smash the like button if you are enjoying the tutorial series on the channel. Let's try and get over a thousand likes, that would be absolutely fantastic. So, first of all, let's see what has changed in the new corner kicks system in FIFA 23. With the left stick, you can pan the camera, changing the kick direction. With the right stick, you control a reticle behind the ball that allows you to determine curl elevation and the style of kick you want. There is also a small trajectory line that displays a preview of how the ball will travel for the first few meters. The following player attributes are used for the new corner kick system. Curve determines maximum possible ball trajectory curve. Players with a higher curve attribute have a higher maximum amount of side and top back spin that can be applied to the ball. Shot power determines ball travel speed. Crossing uh, determines max elevation in corner kick and free kick lob passes, making them more controlled without compromising speed. Players with a higher crossing attribute can perform higher powered lobs with a lesser accuracy impact. Now, from what I've tested, there are two ways of scoring goals by using a direct cross from corner kicks. First of all, with a left-footed player from the right side of the pitch or a right-footed player from the left side of the pitch. The scenario is similar for both of these players. Impact of the ball should be inside foot curl as seen in this example and the yellow line moved further away from the goalkeeper again as seen in the example before releasing the cross select your best player at headers by pressing l1 on your playstation controller or lb on your xbox one controller you can toggle through your players by pressing it multiple times after this, you can release the cross and load it at approximately two and a half, three bars. When you have completed all of these tasks, the cross will be released and you will be able to control the striker from the left analog and move him in this exact position. Afterwards, aim towards the goal, load the shot button and score a goal. For our second example here, We've got a right-footed player from the right side of the pitch and it can also be done in a similar way with a left-footed player from the left side of the pitch. The curve of the ball will be again inside foot curled. The yellow line controlled from the left analog will be moved exactly like in this example. The power of the cross will be around three bars and remember that you can execute it directly or you can select a player like in the previous example. It all comes down to your choice. Of course, these are not the only two variations that uh, you can use to score goals from corner kicks. We've got a bunch of those, but these are the ones that I found first and they were the easiest to do, at least now at the beginning of the game. Of course, I do believe that maybe the most OP corner kicks will still be with a short pass, but uh, I will do a new tutorial about that when the full game releases and when I get time to test it more and see exactly if that is the case. This will be all for today. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like. My name is Ovi and I'll see you fellas in the next videos. Bye bye.